O Lord, open our lips, and our mouths shall sing your praise. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Let us praise the Lord. The Lord's name be praised. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages. God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, being of one substance with the Father. Through him all things were made. For us men and for our salvation he came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate, he suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day in accordance with the Scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. The Lord be with you, and also with you. Let us pray. Lord, have mercy upon us. Christ, have mercy upon us. Lord, have mercy upon us. Our Father in heaven, holy is your name. Your kingdom come. Your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Do not allow us to fall into temptation, but deliver us from every evil. Amen. O Lord, have mercy upon us, and grant us your salvation. Bless your ministers with righteousness, and make your chosen people joyful. O Lord, save your people, and bless your inheritance. Give peace in our time, O Lord, because there is none other that fights for it, but only you, O God. O God, make clean our hearts within us, do not take your Holy Spirit from us. The Book of Ecclesiasticus, Chapter 33 Why does one day excel another, when all the light of every day in the year is of the sun? By the knowledge of the Lord they were distinguished. He varied seasons and feasts. Some of them he exalted and hallowed, some he has made ordinary days. All men are from the ground. Adam was created of earth. In the abundance of his knowledge the Lord ex distinguished them and made their ways various. Some he blessed and exalted, some he hallowed and took to himself, some he cursed and brought low, overthrowing them from their place. Like the clay of the potter in his hand, all his ways are according to his good pleasure. 
so men are in the hand of him that made them, to render to them according to his judgment. God is the opposite of evil, and life is the opposite of death. So is the sinner the opposite of the godly, and so look upon all the works of the Most High, two and two, one against the other. I woke last, as one that gleans after the grape of gatherers, by the blessing of the Lord I got before them, filling my winepress as one that gathers grapes. Consider that I laboured not for myself alone, but for all those who seek instruction. Hear me, you great men of the people. Listen with your ears, you ruler of the congregation. To son and to wife, to brother and friend, do not give power while you live, and give, your not, give not your goods to another, lest you repent, repent and ask for them back again. While you live and breath is in you, do not give yourself to anyone, for it is better that your children should please you then you should look to the hand of your sons. In all your work, keep the upper hand. Do not bring a stain on your honour. In the day that you end the days of your life, in the time of death, distribute your inheritance. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God.
The Epistle to the Hebrews, chapter 6 Now this Melchizedek, king of Salem, priest of the Most High God, met Abraham as he was returning from defeating the kings and blessed him. To him also Abraham gave a tithe of everything. His name first means king of righteousness, then king of Salem, that is, king of peace. Without father, without mother, without genealogy, he is neither beginning or end of life, but is like the Son of God, remaining a priest for all time. But see how great he must have must be, if Abraham the patriarch gave him a tithe of his plunder. Those of the sons of Levi who received the priestly office have authorization from the law to collect a tithe from the people, that is, from their fellow countrymen, although they too are descended from Abraham. But Melchizedek, who does not share their ancestry, collected a tithe from Abraham himself, and blessed the one who possessed the promise. Now without dispute, the inferior is blessed by the superior, and in one case tithes are received by mortal men, by the same time, the other is offered to one affirmed to be alive. It could be said that Levi himself, who received tithes, paid a tithe through Abraham, for he was still in his ancestor Abraham's loins when Melchizedek met him. So if perfection had in fact been possible through the Levitical priesthood, for on that basis the people received the law, what further need would there have been for another priest to arise, said to be in the order of Melchizedek and not in Aaron's order? For when the priesthood changes, a change in the law must come as well. Yet the one whose these things are spoken of belongs to a different tribe, and no one from that tribe has ever officiated at the altar. It is clear that our Lord is descended from Judah, 
Yet Moses never said anything about priests in connection with that tribe. This is even clearer if another priest arises in the likeness of Melchizedek, who has become a priest not by legal regulation of physical descent, but by the power of an indestructible life. Here is the testimony about him. You are a priest forever in the order of Melchizedek. On the one hand, the former command is set aside because it is weak and useless, for the law made nothing perfect. And on the other hand, a better hope is introduced through which we may draw near to God. Since this was not done without a sworn affirmation, for the others have become priests without a sworn affirmation. But Jesus did so with a sworn affirmation of the one who said to him, The Lord has sworn and will not change his mind. You are a priest forever. Accordingly, Jesus has become the guarantee of a better covenant. The others who became priests were numerous because death prevented them from continuing in office. But he holds his priesthood permanently since he lives forever. So he is able to save completely those who come from God, come to God through him, because he always lives to intercede for them. For it is fitting indeed for us to have such a high priest, holy, innocent, undefiled, separate from sinners, and exalted above the heavens. He has no need to do every day what those priests do, to offer sacrifices first for their own sins, and then for the sins of the people, since he did this in offering himself once and for all. The law appoints as high priests men subject to weakness, but the word of solemn affirmation that came after the law appoints a son made perfect for ever. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Collect for Peace O God, who is the author of peace and lover of concord, in knowledge of whom stands our eternal life, whose service is perfect freedom. Defend us, your humble servants, in all assaults of our enemies, that we, surely trusting in your defence, may not fear the power of any adversaries. Through the might of Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. The Collect for our safe preservation. O Lord, our Heavenly Father, almighty and everlasting God, who has safely brought us to the beginning of this day, defend us in the same with your mighty power and grant that this day we fall into no sin, neither run into any kind of danger, but that all our doings may be ordered by your governance to do always that which is righteous in your sight, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Lord, let me accept calmly all that this day might bring me, and let me devote myself completely to your sacred will. Direct me and help me each hour of this day. Control my thoughts and feelings in all my deeds and words. When unpredictable circumstances arise, do not let me forget that everything comes from you. Lord Jesus, Son of God, it is better not to live than to live without you. I thank you, God, for the gift of this new day and for all the good deeds you will help me do today. Holy Spirit, help me to dedicate this day to my Lord and Saviour, Teach me to be just toward my brother and sister, never to provoke wrath or cause sorrow. Control my will and teach me to pray, to believe, to hope, to suffer, to forgive and to love. Amen. We pray for the work of your faithful servants 
throughout the world, Lord. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all today and forevermore. Amen.